Born in the money maker, but raised in the Bronx where the streets was blazing hot. Amazed by the skunk, we ran deep and played the block. Claim stolen land with plans and major stock to bless the whole fam. But damn, it's a hustle. Gotta struggle just to stay alive. Broken dreams and making millions since '85. Many tried and died. Eyes on paradise. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Flo. I'm saying, and let's talk about it, bro. Like how you will relapse 2024 and it's gonna be you know it's gonna be harder for some people worse for others you know how that go but here's what i feel like helped me you know conquer myself on my journey and something that you need to consider to help you on your journey you know going forward trying to conquer yourself in life see let's just talk about that statement i just made right there conquering self you have to be selfless to conquer self. Let that sink in for a minute. Let me say that one more time for the people in the back. You have to be selfless to conquer self. Now, what does that mean? For example, me. You know, I prioritize family. I take my relationship with my wife very serious. And sometimes... You know, that is more important to me than myself. You know why? Because I'm building an empire. You have to want more for self. You think conquering yourself, if you think conquering yourself, is only going to be through you sitting in a room every day, meditating with four walls around you, like, you know what I'm saying, trapped in your room all day, meditating and writing notes all day, like, you know, that's helpful to an extent. But you gotta think bigger than that. You gotta think about being selfless. You gotta think about building relationships with people. You know, putting yourself out there and taking these relationships that you build with other people serious. You know why? Because it's, you have to see the value in having exterior, you know, eyes, you know, like exterior perspectives on you rather than just your own. Because sometimes you will trap yourself in the four corner walls that you trap yourself in your room. You trap yourself like that psychologically. And you have to have outside perspectives. And through that, here's how you do that. You treat people how you want to be treated. Always. No matter how you feel. No matter what you're going through. No matter the mistakes that you're making and how they make you feel because it's not about you. Because if it is about you, you will be trapped. You have to learn how to put these things to the side. For your mom, for your dad, for your sister, for your brother, for your friend, for your co-workers. For just random strangers that you just know what it feels like when other people got bad energy. When me and my wife was just at a beautiful restaurant, you know, Cheesecake Factory, very expensive and it was very good, it was amazing. And we had a waiter that had amazing energy and I was excited to tip this man. I was looking forward to it. When it was time for us to, uh, you know, uh, pay, you know, instead of waiting for him to come to my table, I left and walked out of the table and walked up to him by the register like, yo, I'm ready. I was excited. I was like, oh, yeah, how do I tip you? Like, how does this work? You know, because every restaurant is different about how they go about certain things, or maybe it's not, but I haven't been in a, in a place, you know, financially where I could even go to restaurants like that, where I could even do things like that. So it just felt good to be in that space where I could even think about paying a $100 bill that I paid for and then being like, yo, I'm about to tip this dude $20, $30. I just couldn't figure out what, but I, I tipped him like twenty dollars. And to see the smile on his face, you know, when I when I talked about tipping him and everything like that, it felt amazing. You have to be that kind of person, right? Where you're not thinking about, yo, I just paid this hundred dollar tip. I don't gotta tip this dude. Like he gonna get paid anyway. I did it for the for the cause of appreciating something outside of myself. Let me say that one more time for the people in the back. Appreciate something outside of yourself. And sometimes when you do that, bro, it help you get out of the 
just nonstop World War Three that you got going on in your mind, bro. You just fresh out the bathroom, choke the hell out your chicken. You know what I'm saying? You ready to jump on a Bible, pray, you feeling mad anxiety, you feeling mad, uh, like I feel whack. And then you feel resentment. You feel resentment. You feel resentment towards people, which gives you, makes you feel like it's rational enough to give other people bad energy because you made a mistake. I took with so much passion about this because I've been doing this for too long myself. And I finally realized what the problem is. Fuck you. Let that sink in. Stop being about you. Stop being a main character. And make somebody else the main character in your life. Make your mother the main character in your life. Make other people feeling good. You know what? This person is a main character in their life. So I'm going to add to their life. Because we are all main characters. Everybody on this planet is a main character, whether they realize it or not. And it's your responsibility as a woke individual that understands things that other people don't, is doing things that, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. So you give it to other people. Give to other people. In the same way that you wish, or that now you have these thoughts in your mind like, damn, Imagine what it would have felt like if I was going through this and then now I understand the responsibility of giving to others. What if people understood that? And when I was at a low vibration, what if somebody did that for me? How would that have made me feel? How much would I have appreciated that? Somebody still showing me love even though I'm not right with self. Why does it always have to be that because we are not right with self that we don't have the right to love ourselves? We don't have the right to unconditionally love ourselves when we want unconditional love from other things. But we don't unconditionally love nothing because we feel like we can't unconditionally love ourselves until we condition ourselves to be better. Let me, let, let me rewind that again. We can't unconditionally love ourselves until we condition ourselves for the unconditional love that we want to give ourselves. We have to condition ourselves first. That is not what unconditional love is. You know what unconditional love is? The love that my wife has for me. She didn't wait to give me her all, all of her energy, all of her love, telling me all of her deepest, darkest secrets. She dove all the way in when I was homeless and she ain't know what the hell I was going to do with my life. She didn't know the army was coming. Neither did I. She didn't know. She knew that he's smart. And I appreciate him for that. And he's a good person. I love his spirit. I love his soul. I love how he makes me feel beyond him having these scuffy, messed up dreads that he got on all every day because he can't afford to take care of his head. The same outfit that he wearing every day. The same energy that he got that he got to work through so hard just to make me feel good. Just to make me feel good. <clears throat> Because he's working through his own stuff, so I gotta be patient with him in order for him to love me right. You know what I'm saying? Unconditional love is real. And we have to give unconditional love to other things outside of ourselves because that is unconditionally love, unconditionally loving self. Is being selfless. Me unconditionally loving y'all on my channel without even realizing it. Because I get on, I was getting on here homeless, wearing the same stuff, telling y'all every time I relapsed because I knew I didn't want you to feel alone. And I knew how it would feel going through what you're going through. Scrolling through YouTube and seeing somebody like me going through what I'm going through. Posting certain videos for you. Not getting paid for it. Having a certain amount of subscribers. I can't even reach millions yet. I'm not even there yet. I'm thinking about the 5,000 subs that I've had, that I've been stagnant with for the past couple years. Still, you know what? I love the people that love me right now. I'm gonna get those subs eventually. I'm not gonna beg these people to like the video every day. I'm not gonna beg these people to share my video to other people. I'm gonna let it flow. And I'm gonna do my service 
and let the higher beings do what they do because the government don't got control. I believe that, like, just like Tupac said in court, when I watched the Tupac movie, when they was charging them with the all word, my life is not in your hands. My life is in God's hands. So do with me as you please. That's how I live my life. So I believe that even with the algorithms of the internet, I don't believe that's controlled. I believe it is still controlled by a higher power. Because the way it found me, the way I felt when I was homeless in 2019 and I found somebody named Health and Then Opulence. His name was Health Then Opulence. If you know, you know. Dude is a legend for what he did for me and I'm gonna forever love that dude for that. Whether he understand what he did for me or not. Because I don't know where I would be if I didn't scroll through YouTube I didn't even have a phone. My mom gave me a little, little, little tablet that came on her phone plan that she kicked me out the house because I didn't have a phone. And she said, hey, you can take this and take that little Metro card I gave you and take your ass out, right? And I love my mother and I forgive her for that, but I'm gonna let y'all know what it is. Though. I'm gonna let y'all know how it, what it was. You know what I'm saying? And through that, connected to the Wi-Fi in the, in the homeless shelter, was thankful that they had at least a Wi-Fi service because they needed a Wi-Fi service for the other workers that worked in there that was working for us, helping us, doing our paperwork, helping us trying to get housing and things of that nature, helping us getting food stamps, helping us getting free metro cars to go to work if we had a job in the working homeless um, men's shelter. You know what I'm saying? And, word, I, I kind of lost my point with that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm just flowing, bro. Like I'm just, bro. I'ma just, I'ma just leave it at that, man. I feel like I said enough. Oh yeah. And then being homeless and not knowing which direction to go in, and then health and opulence, semen retention, something, something. And I'm like, the hell? This dude all smiling in the thumbnail, talk about semen? What is this? I was so I was probably the most curious I've ever been in my life. And I'm seeing all the views that it had and all that. I'm like, what is this? This dude look like a strong black man. You know what I'm saying? Look like he get the ladies and all that. Look like he would have something to lose. I pay attention to everything. I'm real tip, like not tip the tap, but I'm real nick and nack. Like I pay, I pay attention to the dust bunny in the corner. The, the the small one. You know what I'm saying? Like I see it all. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the dude through the thumbnail reading it all with my street smarts. He looked like he a dude that got something to lose. He looked like an attractive black man, strong, attractive black man that got something to lose about talking about something if, if, it's, if it's foolishness. So obviously this dude, I'm like, all right, bet, let me, let me see what's going on. Going through the comments, him and all of his subscribers saved my life. And ever since then, my whole world, I went through like a, like a portal of when I'm just going through a for me and I and I landed here in this moment. As passionate as I am. Sat here, set up the setup with the tripod and all, and I sat here for a little minute. What do I want to give to the people that, you know, love my videos, watch my videos, depending on what y'all going through? I want to be here for y'all. The motivation and the and the inspiration ain't gonna change because my life changed, because I know some of y'all life ain't changed yet. And y'all striving just the same way I was for years to be able to be in the position I'm in. And some of y'all have been striving for years and still gonna have to strive for years. Whether your journey just has begun or you still loaded. I will always be here for you. Never forget that. No matter how good my life get, no matter what I got going on, I'm always thinking about y'all. Just as much as I'm thinking about my wife and my family, I think about y'all. Not because you know, I want to make money on here because really I want to make money in my sleep. I want to make money through stocks. But I mean, I can make money in my sleep doing this as well. You know, video blowing up on its own, getting more views while I sleep. Yeah. But I do this more, I get more passionate and I, and I do this for knowing that somebody's watching this and they feel me on a, on a soul level. I'm talking to your soul. When somebody say that in the comments, like, yo, you was talking to my soul, coach. I love those comments. I love when people tell me that I'm, I'm reaching them on a deeper level that really got them flowing with me in that moment. I'm honored and I'm thankful to be able to do what I do, man. I got my wife cooking dinner right now, man. We just, we just handled some paperwork with the marriage and all that, man. Solidified it through the certificate and all that, man. Man, listen, man. You will fail 
2024 on semen retention and no fat if you do not understand where I'm coming from with this video, bro. I got the I got the answer for you. I got the answer you've been looking for. Now it's uh, now it's up to you to do with, with with it whatever you do. Because you know, you the main character in your life. I'm just here to assist you, man. And that is what has helped me so much on my journey, man, from seeing who I was when I first got on this platform to where I am now. Y'all support and even the hate that I've got on here has helped me rise so much. And I'm so thankful. Love y'all, man. Peace. Are you going to end it for me? Thank you, baby.